to see you later, okay, over there? What you need to know about the Sovereign Citizen Movement. I'm Sadie Darnell, Sheriff of Alachua County. This video is being produced by the Florida Sheriff's Association and the U.S. Attorney's Office to raise awareness for law enforcement regarding the Sovereign Citizen Movement and how they may impact us. Sovereign Citizen is a catch-all phrase used to describe a variety of anti-government groups and individuals who share a common belief that our United States government, including our court system and law enforcement, is a fraud and they are exempt from our authority. A sovereign is an individual that interprets the Constitution of the United States differently. Sovereigns believe essentially that the United States government is not a legitimate government, but is a corporation. So they will not have a driver's license, a vehicle registration, an insurance card, or anything in which there is some type of implicit contract, verbal or nonverbal contract, in which the United States government can hold sway over them as a slave. Sovereigns believe in, in two different things, that each of us are two distinct individuals. We are our free man, which is our flesh and blood, our human aspect, and we're our straw man. And that straw man is that corporate uh, slave, if you will, to the United States corporate government. The rhetoric of a sovereign is very important from an officer safety standpoint. You hear a lot that I'm a free man of the land. I am then protected shush, by the shush. land. Don't tell me to shut up. I, I am, am the living natural man and my voice will be heard. They will ask you, what is the reason for stopping me? I'm going to ask you again, what am I being pulled over for? What am I being stopped for? Am I being detained? You have, I am traveling. I am not driving. I do not have to provide a driver's license because I am a sovereign. All right, stay seated, Scott. You have a license on you? I do not submit do to not? unlawful inquiry, sir. Okay, so I you have, don't have a driver's license? I have a right to travel unencumbered freely. Uh, you do not have jurisdiction over me. Uh, are you a peace officer or a police officer? There's a difference in the sovereign rhetoric. I also need to know uh, if you're a peace, a, a constitutional common law peace officer, or are you a police officer? Because there is a difference. Some sovereigns will ask you to fill out a paperwork explaining your jurisdiction over them. Uh, some will be argumentative, but the argument that you will get most is that you have, as a law enforcement officer, you have no jurisdiction over them. And they will constantly repeat that. Their objective is to confuse you. You don't know their level of commitment. If they are providing this, this information to, in order to confuse you or in order to distract you to the point where they can take advantage of you and assault you or kill you. May the 20th, 2010 started out like any other day. Two veterans of our West Memphis, Arkansas Police Department, Bill Evans and Brandon Powdert, were patrolling the interstate as part of the department's drug and addiction team, something they love to do. They became involved in what seemed to be a routine traffic stop, though I've always warned my officers there is no such thing. But really, how much more routine can you get than pulling over a father and son in what looked like a church bus? My men didn't realize who or what they were dealing with. Neither officer made it home. And one of them was my son. Indicators from an officer safety standpoint is there are indicators on the vehicle itself. It could be bumper stickers. It could be a specific type of homemade license plate. They will not have legitimate driver's licenses or vehicle registrations. However, they will have homemade licenses or registration which furthers their cause. There's three types of sovereign categories in which we, we see regularly constitutional sovereigns, religious sovereigns, which believe the only law they have to follow is God's law, and diplomatic sovereigns, which believe that they are diplomats or citizens of another country or Native American or Aboriginal to the United States, therefore not subject to United States law. When they come into the courts, usually they have lots of paperwork uh, that's hard to decipher. It takes a lot of time with our staff uh, to try to decipher what it is they're trying to file. 
And then in their case files, they're usually very voluminous. Uh, they take a lot of time. And in the courts, they can be belligerent. Uh, sometimes they don't want to stand up when the judge comes into the courtroom. And they're always representing themselves in the court. So you can see it does have a huge, huge impact on the courts, you know, on a statewide basis. Just go get your supervisor, please, sir. Thank you. You, it was on a dark road. You pulled me over. I you know I was making sure that I could get to a place with some light. They, based upon what has happened in the past, and so I was trying to get to a place where I can get over because I see he turned his lights on. There was an emergency, so I was trying to get out of his way as fast as I could. What was the emergency? Okay, so they got they got two more cop cars pulling up. Okay, that's fine. Just get your supervisor. Don't even talk. That's the best. Sir, can you please get your supervisor? Can you? I can't do that, sir. I need to get your supervisor. Why is that? Because my constitutional rights are being violated. And I need. No. Okay, this is how this is gonna go. Case law versus Pennsylvania versus Mem states that if I tell you to get out of the car. Get out of the car. You're getting out of the car. No. Nope. Get out. Get your supervisor. I need you to get your supervisor, sir. I, supervisor. I need you to get another supervisor, no. sir. Is he the supervisor? Are you the supervisor? Yes. Okay, my tribal member. I'm a Choctaw Native American. My tribal judge is on the phone. I don't care who that is. That means nothing to me. He said, sir, open your window. We're trying to find out was there an emergency. And we're trying to find exactly what is going on, and we're doing it. We know you're doing police and engagement, and we just want to make sure that everything is fine and his constitutional rights are protected. He will comply with everything thing you need him to comply with. We just want to make sure he's protected. Open your door. That's a lawful order. Open your door. He's asking me. Okay, uh, you open your door. Under threat of arrest and coercion, say okay, under threat of arrest and coercion, you're stepping out because he has a gun. Under threat. Versus, Pennsylvania versus Mim says, Under threat, duress, and coercion, because you're demanding me to get out. Under threat, duress, and coercion, I'll get out because you're demanding me to and get out. And I want to talk to the supervisor. And I want to talk to the supervisor. Get out. I want to talk to the get supervisor. Out. Get out of the car. On threat, duress, and coercion, I'm stepping out the car because you got a gun. All right. Under and you're scaring me. You're scaring me. I feel like my life and is I feel like I'm being discriminated against. And I feel like I'm being discriminated against. Get out of the car. I'm coming. But you got your hands on your gun. I'm I scared for my life. My I don't out. have any weapons. I'm just get trying to tell you. I'm getting, I'm getting out. Okay, get out. Can you, you got, you, is everything being recorded? I'm recording it right now. Okay, I, good. Just good. You just want to talk to your supervisor. There's no issue. I just want to talk to you your know. supervisor. Get out of the car. Is so, this is my hat, sir. Get out of the car. All right. Is this the supervisor? That's the supervisor? Are you, are you a supervisor? What's your name? What's your name? What's your badge What's number? 116. His badge number is 116. <laughs> 116 and what uh what uh no, county he's from where and what parish i need to i, I, I can't identify i need to let my no, i need to get out of the car. i need to let my tribal, tribal chief. my tribal get chief needs to know where i am get out of the car sir get out of the car i'm my life feels threatened get out of the car my life feels threatened get out of the car i feel threatened for my life he's got his hand he's okay, got his hand on the gun get out of the car He's got his hand on the okay, gun. I'm coming out. I'm threatening the guards and I'm stepping out. I'm just trying to find out where you at. You're being recorded too. I just need to know where I am. Hey, you're being recorded too. Hey, you're being recorded too. Get out of the car. I'm going to send you a glimpse of where I am. Make sure you get out. Make sure you get out. Okay, I'm getting out. They're breaking it. They're breaking it. Okay, I'm getting out. Yeah. 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 I'm ready to go to Yep.
Twenty-one. 